Here's a story that'll have you wondering, what do I eat for breakfast? A Texas researcher says bacon can stop a heart attack. This researcher says the bacon protects the heart during a heart attack because of nitrates that are found in bacon that form nitric oxide gas and that can reopen blocked arteries. Now in the past, researchers have always said bacon is not good for you because those nitrates can actually cause cancer. But this Texas doctor who did this study says that prior research was wrong. Yeah, the nitrates are great, but what about all that grease? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, a little technicality there. I'm just going to take oh, up well. smoking. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Not all kinds of good nitrates in there. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of all right, stuff. Broward County getting so uh, soaked right yeah, now. Yeah, right? it's been a rainy evening in half of the viewing area of South Florida. Let's show you some of the rainfall totals that have come in uh, so far on the Weatherbug Network. These updated continuously through the evening. Pompano Beach, Liberty Elementary, about uh, three quarters of an inch of rain there. Half an inch of rain at the William Dandy Middle School. In Fort Lauderdale, Miramar, a quarter of an inch, and Coral Springs, about 1500s, and we've had very light winds. Temperature's not too bad. It has just been the rainfall across parts of South Florida. In fact, here's real-time Doppler 4 now showing the rain continuing, mainly over Broward. Much of Miami-Dade has been quiet, though, on the humid side. Zooming in on real-time Doppler 4, you can see heaviest rain right now. It's moved through Oakland Park now over Plantation, approaching the uh, Sawgrass Expressway there, Sunrise, Tamarack, and maybe even northern parts of West in the Bonaventure area, getting a little bit of rain there. Here's what's going on. Radar in motion through the morning. We started off with showers coming in and kind of favoring Broward early in the day, and then they moved on away, and it looked like it was going to be quiet, but then the showers just kept forming. This little line, little bands of showers kept moving on down to the west. Still some showers offshore, so overnight we're going to see rain continuing for a few, a few more hours before showers slow come to an end overnight tonight and then we may see more showers again tomorrow as the pattern kind of not changing a whole lot. We do have a weak cold front that has kind of settled across the area. It is not going to do much in the way of our weather because it's not going to push on through and we've got enough moisture around to keep those showers going. Here's a look at temperatures right now. They're very mild. Overnight lows have been in the mid 70s. They've actually been record overnight lows because they've been so warm. Mid 70s right now, low 70s across much of South Florida. And there's that front. And as you can see, it's slightly cooler to the north, but nothing extreme. And the push behind that front is not very strong. So slightly less humid air to the north is going to try to work its way in as we head toward the uh, end of the weekend into the weekend. It's going to have a hard time though because our winds are going to quickly switch right back around to the east. So warm again, a few showers around again tomorrow. Then as we go into your Thursday and Friday, not looking too bad. Another weak front passes by to our north. Spotty showers, mix of sun and clouds. The weekend right now is looking not bad at all. I think we'll get much enough at least of a northeasterly wind flow for a time to drop the humidity levels a little bit. And then finally, maybe a real cold front coming down sometime in the earlier middle parts of next week. Here's your forecast for tonight. Showers uh, start to end. The wet roads and Broward will be drying up. Air is going to stay very damp, though, with a low near 73 for tomorrow. Look for uh, it to stay warm. Some spotty showers around, a high near 83. If you're boating, winds, not a problem out there on the water, east at 10. And here we go through the rest of the week. Still some showers around tomorrow and Friday. I think Saturday and Sunday are going to be the drier of the days in the near future. And temperatures stay warm. Highs in the low 80s. Lows dropping off, though, to slightly more comfortable <laughs> I know. December levels of 60s. Yeah, yeah, that stickiness level. It's out of control. No, out of control. Yeah. It's been hot. Right. Thanks, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Well, not guilty. That's the plea entered today by O.J. Simpson, stemming from an alleged sports memorabilia heist. Simpson and two other co-defendants appeared for their arraignment in a Las Vegas courtroom today. They stand accused of robbing two memorabilia dealers at gunpoint in a Vegas hotel room. Simpson and his lawyers have said that no guns were shown during the incident and the football, former football star was only trying to retrieve items that belonged to him. The trial date has been set for April 7th. Oprah Winfrey is back in South Africa tonight. The Queen of Talk met with the family of the girl who first triggered the investigation into abuse at Oprah's all-girls school. People magazine quoted the girl's father as saying the meeting was very emotional. Oprah has invited the girl to return to the academy. Next in sports, a former teammate with some harsh words for those who are bashing his friend, Sean Taylor. Plus, the Canes basketball team looks to stay undefeated in the young season. J JB has that and more coming up. Plus, the holiday season is here. That means nonstop partying, right? Coming up, the new fashion websites that promise to help you dress to impress for those parties. CBS 4 News at 10. We'll be right back. You bet. Jim Barry here with sports. Well, at UM, the games go on, but Sean Taylor is certainly not forgotten. The fallen football stars remembered before a hoops tip off. Please join us in a moment of silence as we honor his memory. 
Well, after that moment, it's time to play some basketball against Alabama State. James Dews knows what to do. Get it? Dews knows what to do. <laughs> anyway, he buries a three. Dwayne Collins wheels and deals down low. He's a man underneath. I tell you what, this year the Canes might be legit. Brian Asbury rattles in a three. UM wins 83-74. Hey, these guys are now 6-0. Well, the first time I met Sean Taylor was seven years ago. He and one of his best friends were fulfilling a football dream. Taylor and Buck Ortega were seniors at Gulliver who were signing with UM. Taylor, of course, became a star safety. Ortega, a backup tight end. And their friendship hey, lasted even when they parted football ways. Ortega, just signed by the NFL's New Orleans Saints, is now offended by the suggestion that his late friend had turned thug. That's complete garbage. It's, it, that, that makes me sick, just as sick as you know this, the whole situation. That someone's gonna, you know, especially after he's gone, to, to discredit him like that is just garbage. All right. Well, it's hard to talk trash when you're losing, but tell that to Joey Porter. The Dolphin linebacker is telling the Jets to come on down. Porter looks and plays like his old self Monday at Pittsburgh. In fact, he picks off a Steeler pass and shows some spark all game long. Now, Porter remembers the Jets talking big smack after beating the Finns back in September. So come Sunday, he wants some payback. They had some things to say after the game. They had some other things to say last time we was out there when the game was over. So they was talking trash. So now we have an opportunity for them to come see us in our backyard. Both teams are bad. Neither one should be talking trash. All right, don't look now, but the Panthers are hot. Four straight wins, and the streak stays alive with an exhausting shootout tonight. In Washington, Tomas Bocon shows out as the Panther goalie turns away 32 shots. This one's nifty with just 30 seconds left in regulation. So we go to a shootout, and finally, Stephen Weiss with a great move. Now it's up to Bocon, kicks away the last shot, and the Cats win 2-1. to one. As I said, they've won four in a row. All right, in high school football, Booker T. Washington has it all. A ferocious defense that swarms opposing quarterbacks, and they also have a potent offense that scores lots of touchdowns. Still, the Tornadoes have lost in the state semis now three straight years. Coach Tim Harris hopes his seniors now lead the way Friday against Dwyer of Palm Beach Gardens. That they've been around and they understand exactly, you know, what they've been through the last three years. And so they're looking at some little things that we've done differently, and they're trying new approaches as seniors to go into every game expecting to do well, expecting to win. And so the young guys has been following that real good this season. There you go. And if they lose, laughs. <laughs> All right, that's sports. More news in a moment. You ready for this? Yeah. Hello. Hi, honey. Hey, where are you guys? Uh, I got stuck at work. I can't pick them up from practice. You promised. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'll, I'll go get them. Okay. I look. She hung up on me. Just a little something. Find some of the best values of the year at the Lexus December to Remember sales event, now through January 2nd. At your South Florida Lexus deal. News in the making. Dial star my 33 on your Metro PCS cellular phone. Well, the holiday season is upon us, and that means loads of parties and family get-togethers. And, of course, you need fabulous outfits for every single event. But if the thought of playing dress-up is enough to make your head spin, relax. Help is on the way. Tonight, CBS 4's Jade Alexander tells us about the, some new websites that promise to help you glitter and shine this holiday season. College student Kelly Mulligan is always up for some retail therapy. I live five minutes away from the small, so it's on the way home from work, so I stop out every day. Scooping up a combination of classic and trendy pieces to mix and match. Now Kelly can share her keen sense of style with other fashionistas just by logging online. Think of it as fashion-based social networking. Websites like Fashmatch, Like.com, Polyvore, and Style Feeder let you rummage through a virtual closet of clothing, shoes, and accessories from a variety of designers with the ability to swap style tips along the way. Fashion expert Sharon Haver says it's a fun new way to express yourself. I think it keeps a very informed community of, of style 
tell people out there whether or not they're, they're lay and they just have a love for fashion or, or it's their business. Some sites even allow you to build and save unique outfits for different occasions. If you like what you see, go ahead and buy it. Sometimes you can even browse by brand, price, availability, color, and style. Instead of looking for black shoes, you would find the picture of the black shoe with the toe you like, the heel you like, and from that it will visually match it to everything else you need. And if you're looking for a personal stylist, many sites will suggest outfit matches just for you. Some recommendations are computer generated, others are user based. And when you're done building and browsing, you can publish your fashion finds for others to rate and comment on. And if they have a good sense of style, instead of telling their two best friends, you know, how to get dressed or what's the latest trend, they get to share it with the entire world. Haver says while these new sites are definitely fun, keep in mind. You still need to maybe spend that time in your closet, trying on clothes, coordinating outfits that work on you, seeing what fits you. Jade Alexander, CBS4 News at 10. And these sites are free to use. They also have multiple features, so you can try them all out, see which sites that you like the best to help you look your best. Well, it's pretty convenient, but when it comes to clothes, I like to try it on. There you go. Right. The see, right I there. agree. That's just my, this is me. That'll do it for CBS 4 News at 10. You no. too, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are so odd. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now stay tuned for TMZ TV. Have Bye -bye. a good night. <laughs> right now,